from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Samsung Developer Conference 2017. Brought to you by Samsung. Hey, welcome back everyone here live in San Francisco, Moscone West. This is theCUBE's exclusive coverage. Live video here at Samsung Developer Conference, hashtag SDC 2017. I'm John Furrier, the co-founder of Silicon Angle Media and co-host of theCUBE. My next guest is Dean Takashaki, who, Takahashi, who's the lead <laughs> writer for GamesBeat, for VentureBeat, big blog covering business and innovation technology. Obviously, I've been a, a journalist and writer covering you know, mobile and mobile gaming for a long time. Uh, legend in the Silicon Valley community. Dean, great to see you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, kind people, intro. People mm -hmm. who follow you know, you know, mm -hmm. you've been out there, you know, really on the lands, the front front line, looking at the evolution of gaming. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, from gaming, and then obviously mobile gaming hit a thing. Then Gen two, Gen three. I don't know what generation we're on, but certainly mm -hmm. Samsung is converging. Uh -huh. yeah, that's their message here. Uh -huh. you know, trying to keep these smart things with the cloud message. A little bit of an IoT mm -hmm. feels like an enterprise show a little bit. But at the end of the day, it's, it's the all coming edge. together now, right? It's all coming yeah. together. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. your What's your report? What are you seeing? What are you reporting on? Well, I uh, you know I cover everything from the the smallest startups, uh, including the small game companies. Uh, I try to pay attention to Silicon Valley in general, uh, and then the big companies as well. And so you know the relationships between the developers who are on the small side to the platform owners on the big side. And uh, I see a really big war going on <laughs> among all the platform owners. You know, they're they're trying to get the hearts and minds of those developers, and uh, you know, they're they're uh, trying to bring in. Uh, they're trying to do what Samsung is doing, which is just integrate a lot of different things onto their platform. And uh, you know, we'll see how much uh, sort of openness is is sort of left at the end of this, or how much of a commons there is across the whole tech landscape or the yeah. whole game industry. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't know uh, who's, who's going to win, who's going to own it all, uh, but everybody's It's a trying. war. I mean, every platform war is, I mean, the device here, uh -huh. uh, my new Samsung A is nice. I mean, it's got a big screen, yeah. it's gameable, it's mobile gaming is obviously hot, mm -hmm. but again, the platform wars are interesting. Now they have the living room, they got the kitchen, the smart family hub, all this stuff they're talking about. Mm -hmm. They've had the smart TV for a while. Mm -hmm. The question that I have is, Developers don't want hassles. They want the distribution and all the goodness of the, uh -huh. the big vendor. Uh -huh. But one of the things Samsung is seems to be trying to, you know, create is this unified fabric of, mm -hmm. you know, breaking down their stovepipes within their company. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The problem is developers won't tolerate different API documentation. Uh -huh. This is an issue we've heard from developers here in the cube. Is uh -huh. how do you, how does Samsung do that? So. Because that'll that'll really be that's the that's the kryptonite for developers. That'll keep the the super developers away. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Like the the announcement they had here about the Internet of Things and trying to sort of integrate three different standards down into one uh, is the kind of move that uh, yeah. you you have to make or you have to see. Like some of these come in through acquisitions, but. Uh, um, yeah, the developers don't want to sort of mess around with the multiple I APIs. It's mm -hmm. interesting, you know, we cover, as you know, we cover a lot of the enterprise and the emerging tech mm -hmm. with SiliconANGLE and theCUBE, and you know, we, we see that the enterprise is clear, right? Mm -hmm. DevOps, mm -hmm. cloud native, mm -hmm. Linux foundation, those worlds are exploding, open source is exploding. Mm -hmm. And then you got companies like Intel, which cares about <laughs> uh, field programmable Gatorades and 5G, mm -hmm. enabling that end to end, and then you got the consumer companies, whether it's Alibaba or a mm -hmm. Samsung or a Google or an Apple, mm -hmm. really caring about the device side. So uh -huh. everything's kind of like coming into the middle where cloud is the engine, right? So mm -hmm. the interesting thing I'd love to get your perspective on, what are developers sensitive to the fact that they can have more compute? Because augmented reality, even mm -hmm. virtual reality, mm -hmm. I mean, we've had one uh, VIP influencer here on theCUBE saying, uh -huh. VR's done, one tados. It's done, but we learned from it. Uh -huh. It didn't really hunt, it didn't yeah. really go off the shelves, but yeah. augmented reality is hotter because it's more realistic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Drones are using augmented industrial uh, IoT. Augmented reality has a nice launch pad, right? It, yeah. it's, 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 it's got a long runway off of smartphones. Uh, you know, you create your app for smartphones and eventually it's going to run on all these other new things that come out, like the glasses, and, you know, once once those are established, uh, that's great, but in the meantime, uh, the the apps and the developers can sort of make this living yeah. on, on the smartphone. Yeah, so it's that's not a big bet like a Google Glass where it just kind of crashes and burns yeah. kind of yeah. thing. So exactly. they can get some beachhead mm -hmm. with mobile. Yeah. 
And All right, so the question it. for you is, well, how do you vet the signal from the noise on, on companies? Obviously, mm -hmm. you look for ones that have more of a pragmatic business model, get in on mobile gaming, obviously Google's on stage with Android, mm -hmm. so you're starting to see more openness with APIs, mm -hmm. differentiating from Apple uh -huh. ecosystem, mm -hmm. which is, is, is what it is. Mm -hmm. How do you see companies uh, differentiating and being real? Signal from noise, I mean, uh, you know, you, you do look at uh, everything from who their alliances are with, uh, to, you know, how many people, do they have enough people to get the job done, do they have the funding, yeah. uh, you know, it's, uh, it's sort of just sort of, a, you know, figuring out whether the team has experience at what they're doing. Yeah. So, a lot of the basics of journalism, you know, just finding out facts about a company. All right, so uh, Magic Leap, have you dug into those guys? I saw the funding news yesterday, another 500 million. Yeah, I, I mean, haven't uh, seen the product, <laughs> I haven't seen the demo. I'm not covering gaming like you are, but you must have seen their demo, um, have you? I haven't seen their demo. And they got no. half a more, half a million dollars, more. Yeah, yeah. That's a war chest. Yeah, they're out in Florida, it's a bit far from me, but uh, you know, they, they, they are very lucky to have convinced someone to give them some additional money yeah. when they've burned through you know, a billion dollars plus already. So 1.4 billion Insane. is what they raised. And nothing to show for 500 million more, yeah. And um, you know, they're very ambitious and that, that's good, but it better be they, good. they I mean, almost seem like they, they were trying to say, we're going to accelerate and beat Moore's Law. You know, we're going to do something impossible, uh, put these things into little glasses, uh, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be like, so you can't distinguish augmented reality from uh, reality, right? And, uh, you know, surprise, surprise, you can't really rush Moore's law. Yeah, right? and, that's a, and by the way, that's, surprised or not, in Silicon Valley, because mm -hmm. it seems like that's a go big or go home strategy. Certainly, billion mm -hmm. dollars they burn through, another half a billion. Mm -hmm. It's just no one, no one can do that, it's hard to do. So, back down to the more pragmatic ecosystem, you're mm -hmm. seeing mm -hmm. um, Samsung here, I like their approach. I think that it's a good strategy. Mm -hmm. They didn't overplay their hand at the show on talking about where the data resides. Mm -hmm. That was one thing I'm, I'm, I'm still not seeing, but mm -hmm. maybe they're going to bring that out later. Maybe it's not ready yet. Mm -hmm. The cloud, I didn't really see the cloud story there as much. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. So again, those are open discussion points for me, but certainly leveraging the device, mm -hmm. leveraging the distribution is what they're offering. But then they made a comment uh, mm -hmm. here on theCUBE, we're open. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean I mean, Android's uh, obviously got a benefit of being open, but what does open mean to you? I mean, how do you how do you see that? Uh, I, I think that uh, you know, say you could argue that for smart things, where it is connecting to something like an Nvidia Shield, and you can use the remote control on an Nvidia Shield to, you know, sort of change your lighting or something like that. And so uh, it's it's you know, sort of overlapping uh, circles of, of sort of yeah. you know. You know, I don't know if that's open, <laughs> uh, but uh, it works. Yeah. So you know, if you deliver something that works for consumers, you know, it's relatively open. Yeah, and the glam is obviously electronics, mm -hmm. consumer electronics based. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got the, a little bit of the IoT. I find this fascinating story mm -hmm. of the IoT because people are things too. I mean, you're walking around with the mm -hmm. phones. Mm -hmm. We have the, the fashion tech happening. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, and obviously gaming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the big surprise for you here in the show? Um, give me some. Um, positive review, mm -hmm. what you liked about it, and what critical analysis, um, where they need to improve. What are, what are some of your thoughts? Well, I think, I think there, there's always sort of that challenge for a big company like this that has a worldwide consumer base, uh, of how much do they want to uh, cater to or appeal to uh, the hardcore crowd. And so like, uh, you know, say gaming and non-gamers is a good example of that. And, you know, they're not really trying uh, to, to get everybody in gaming onto their platform or onto their site. Um, they're saying that, you know, they're welcome, they can come. Uh, we've built this, uh, you know, as an all-purpose sort of platform. Uh, and, and, you know, they're, they're not, say, going out to invest in a lot of the game companies. Like, mm -hmm. they didn't put money into Magic Leap, right? Um, they're not, you know, sort of trying to, to sort of uh, pull people in and, and you know, the, then it's the not, They're not given the, the hard sell. Yeah, yeah, the challenge then is, is that other companies are. You yeah. know, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, of course, are, are doing it, but Amazon, uh, Google, um, e even Apple, to some degree, is, is embracing uh, uh, a lot of the gamers and the game platforms and uh, making their platforms uh, 
uh, fairly friendly. Mm -hmm. so, so I think Samsung needs to decide whether it's going to step up in, in that space. Um, other territories, yeah, it's, 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 it's on a very good march, I think, yeah. to uh, continuously come out with uh, new tech that gets widely adopted. I mean, I, they, you know, they're doing well in VR, uh, but I, I think um, it almost seems like they've embraced 360 video a lot more than they have on the game side. Yeah. And, um, you know. well, we, we certainly would love to get those 360 cameras mm -hmm. here. Um, Apple versus Samsung, obviously Worldwide Developer Conference is legendary. Samsung, fourth year now doing this event. Mm -hmm. Compare, close, getting there, leveling up? Uh, well, I, you know, I think Apple's event was underwhelming in a lot of ways as far as just what they announced. Uh, and you know, the, say even the performance of the, the phones uh, doesn't really, it's kind of flattish compared to the performance of Samsung phones. And so, um, you know, I, I think Samsung has uh, maybe a broader following, broader base, uh, yeah. and uh, they have the potential to, to and just Android's sort of draw global more, appeal is pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah, draw more developers over who might find it easier. Yeah, so. and it's interesting, interesting to see the, the mm -hmm. psychographic profile, the developer makeup mm -hmm. from Apple and Samsung, certainly great. Dean, mm -hmm. thanks for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. Dean Takahashi mm -hmm. here inside theCUBE, lead writer for GameBeat, part of VentureBeat uh, blog in Silicon mm -hmm. Valley, check them out, VentureBeat.com. Mm -hmm. Of course, check out SiliconAngle.com and theCUBE.net, that's our content there. It's theCUBE live coverage from Samsung Development Conference. I'm John Furrier, back with more after and this short break. I'd also plug our uh, GameSpeed Conference. Uh, GameSpeed Conference. A GameSpeed Summit in April, April 9th and 10th in Berkeley. Yep, get the plug in. GameSpeed Conference <laughs> in April, check it out. Dean co-chairs the uh, committee for getting the great content, hardcore gamers, mm -hmm. thought leaders. Check out GameSpeed Summit in April. Of course, it's theCUBE, live coverage here in San Francisco. More after this short break. All right.